After nearly three months of diplomacy, a rare breakthrough and a moment of hope in Istanbul. Despite refusing to sit at the same table to sign the document, an unlikely agreement between the two warring parties. <laughs> Brokered by Turkey and the United Nations, it should allow grain to leave Ukrainian ports. It's an unprecedented agreement between two parties engaged in bloody conflict. The beacon of hope on the Black Sea is shining bright today thanks to the collective efforts of so many. In these trying and turbulent times for the region and all globe, let that beacon guide the way towards easing human suffering and securing peace. Ukraine is known as the breadbasket of Europe for good reason, but the war here has destroyed this country's ability to feed much of the world. The fields have been sown, but getting these crops out of the country has been impossible until now. The agreement to navigate safe passage through Russia's blockade of the Black Sea, it's hoped, will allow grain to be exported again to near pre-war levels. The silos here in the port city of Odessa are full and another harvest is on its way. Farmers are hopeful this deal will work. We can still save a lot. I mean, we still will be doing major steps back in the development of Ukraine and in the development of Ukrainian agriculture. But I mean, if, if the ports open now, then, then you know, we can, be, yeah, we can still recover a lot. But um, yeah, I'm still skeptical. Millions of people around the world, particularly in the global south, are also dependent on Ukraine's grain. And the spectre of famine and a worsening migration crisis is looming. The agreement is known as the Black Sea Initiative, but perhaps a better way of looking at it is as a really focused ceasefire at sea. But signing a document is one thing, putting it into practice is another when Ukraine and Russia are still locked in an extremely bitter war which shows no sign of ending. And trust is a commodity that is still extremely scarce as Russia and Ukraine continue to trade blows. These pictures show the devastation of a Russian attack on a school in the Ukrainian city of Kramatorsk. There is still then much that could go wrong with this agreement which involves strong cooperation, monitoring and checks from both sides. These ships will have to be cleared, uh, that they don't have explosives, that there isn't going to be mines uh, placed in the Black Sea that would blow up a ship. Uh, we have all of these issues that have to be implemented, but certainly this is a big achievement. It's a, a great effort. For now, this is a big win for diplomacy, and senior officials within the United Nations hope grain will sail from Ukraine within the next couple of weeks. But if this agreement fails, it will exacerbate a global cost of living crisis that's already causing catastrophic food shortages in some of the poorest parts of the world.